Hi guys, Chris here. Um, it's coming up to the 11 p.m. in the UK, which uh, is going to be the start time of the Nintendo Direct on the 13th of September. Um, looking at switching 3DS titles for the next few months and a bit of a focus on Mario Galaxy. A uh, couple of minutes before it starts, so I'm just going to try and talk through some of my expectations, what I might want to try and see. Um, I'm expecting to see, obviously, Mario Galaxy, because I've said that it's going to be in there. See what they show off, see if there's any info. Maybe Amiibo functionality or a couple more of the kingdoms showed off. Um, I was waiting to see Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, cause that's throughout Fire Emblem Warriors. I'd be surprised I didn't do anything on that. Um, maybe a little bit on Pokemon because uh, that's out in a couple of weeks. Um, and the Zelda DLC for the, um, Breath of the Wild, which is throughout holiday season um for this one i'm not sure we'll see maybe the kirby game they mentioned earlier unless they've switched it to the switch one which is coming out early next year um maybe a bit of kirby and yoshi uh for the switch because i can imagine they're gonna be pretty early next early 2018 releases um so it is 45 minutes long so i think there'll be quite a few release dates probably skyrim maybe Maybe ukulele, because I know Platonic said they were almost there with it, so might be interesting to finally hear what's happening with that. Um, that's a minute away. Um, I'm hoping to hear a release date for ARMS Update 3.0, which is where a load of pop comes in. Um, so hopefully we'll hear more about when that's going to happen, because I imagine that could be pretty soon. There might be like whether it drops after the presentation or like tomorrow maybe. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what the show. Um, I have a feeling that because I'm watching the UK stream, it might be where they keep the Japanese voice and have the UK subtitles. I'm probably just gonna be reading a lot of the time, um, which I apologise for now if that is the case. Um, but obviously. There have been differences between the UK and the American stream, so I might end up watching both anyway to see what the differences were. Now, UK watch uh, Psychic Spectres as well. They mentioned that in the US. Oh, any minute now? Here we are. Oh, 18. So possibly a paid day two. It's an 18 rating, so it's going to be showing us something. Maybe the Bayonetta rumours. Yeah, Japanese still. Uh, Kurizumi, hello again. Mm -hmm. Switch from 3DS, so they can do it like last time when they did the, the quick fire side of 3DS and Switch, maybe. Okay. It says four sort lights. Okay, I'll just turn Notch Moon. Here's a bit more about these. Okay. Some wild Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news has appeared, and you can catch it in four parts. Yeah, As you just saw in the trailer, the legendary Pokemon that steals light, Necrozma, has transformed into two new forms. Dusk Main Necrozma, who took over Sol Galeo, and Dawn Wings Necrozma, who took over Lunala. Fair enough. A brand new showdown awaits. In addition to new map areas like a beach where surfers gather, a valley of Pikachu, and other facilities, the main characters have stylish new looks. On top of that, there are new clothing items and other surprises to look out for. There's more, like we expected, more areas, more... 
Pokemon. Bonuses. If you purchase either game early, you can get a special rock run who will evolve into dust form lichen rock. Somehow this rock rub can perform a special move that this Pokemon usually can't learn. Also, if you buy the games on Nintendo eShop by January 10th, you'll receive 12 quick balls. And finally, on September 22nd, the Nintendo 3DS virtual console titles, Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version, will be released. If you purchase either one, you can receive the mythical Pokemon Celebi as a bonus in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Fair Gold, enough. Pokemon Ultra Sun, or Pokemon Ultra Moon. You can pre-purchase Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version in Nintendo eShop after today's Nintendo Direct. So, kicking off Pokemon. Also, unknown Ultra Beasts, codenamed UB Burst and UB Assembly, will make their debut. With UB Burst in Pokemon Ultra Sun and UB Assembly in Pokemon Ultra Moon. That's the latest news I have, so please follow our coverage to see these Ultra Beasts in action and much more. So there's new, 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 new Pokemon. Ultra Moon launches November 17th. This themed new Nintendo 2DS XL system will get a limited release on the same day. In addition, in Europe, limited amounts of boxed versions of Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Silver with a digital download code inside will also be available from stores. Please check it out. And in the headlines. Which means it's this is pretty cool, but I don't play much 3DS too often, so I might not get too much of them. And in the all new mode, Minions Quest, the search for Bowser. You'll go behind the scenes of Mario and Luigi's adventure to learn the somewhat heroic tale of Bowser's minions. The classic story mode also has new stamp sheets. Tap compatible amiibo figures to stamp them and earn new equipment. You can also tap the Boo Amiibo figure or the new Goomba and Koopa Troopa figures to get two additional stamp sheets that offer up items in both modes of the game. The more stamps you have, the more equipment and items you'll earn. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. Last That's 6th of October, it's got a date for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. ...3DS systems October 6th. The new Goomba and Koopa Troopa Amiibo launched that same day. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Is about to enter a tournament against his toughest rival yet, himself. And his new game, Kirby Battle Royale, offers a variety of ways to fight. In battle arena mode, everyone battles until the last. Okay, is this is the multiplayer game they talked about in the. In the Or Express mode. Earlier in the year. Until the fastest Kirby wins, and he's just getting started. Fight to the best of your copy abilities. And prove you're the one Kirby to rule them all. There's a single player story mode too, not to mention regional online battles. Because that is more competitive than uh, traditional. Will fight its way here November 3rd. It's that November, so it's more. Way, we're holding a poll to celebrate Kirby's 25th anniversary. More multiplayer than the traditional pla multiplayer platformer. If you're interested, please check the microsite for more details. Let's choose abilities. Catriel Layton, daughter of the famous Professor Layton, is on the case. And luckily, some things run in the family. In the seventh main installment of the Layton series, search for clues. And so Layton's still going. Solve puzzles and hopefully save the day. Try on an exclusive Flora costume, only available in the Nintendo 3DS version of the game. And be there the day she opens her detective agency. Layton's mystery journey. Catriel and the Millionaire's Game Series on Nintendo 3DS, October 6th. Are you ready? Don't you be afraid now. Welcome to the new stage. Okay, I never played any of these, and I'm not likely to play this one. There's quite a few, quite a few announcements out, it's pretty cool. your own fashion boutique, meet customers, and find stylish outfits to suit their needs. This time, your customer's stories may unfold differently based on the outfits you select. Become a top
top stylists and work with the stars to be. Which look will they rock for their on-stage debut? It's up to you. Yeah, She's not overly fast about this kind of game. Okay, that's weird. Kind of skip back. Graphic it looks pretty decent. There is like just cutscenes or something though. But... Oh, so that's this year as well. So 3DS is doing some pretty good. Minecraft. Fair enough, Minecraft is continuing its continuing its uh, rampage. Your inventory, crafting, and mapping. Otherwise, I've never played, never played uh, Minecraft because never been interested, unfortunately. I know people love it, but it's just not something that grabs me. That's coming soon. No date. Oh, that looks together cool. Around our home consoles, ever since the original launched on Nintendo 64. We partied like it was 1999, because it was. And now, the best mini games from all 10 home console titles are going portable on Nintendo That's awesome. DS. We've curated the top 100 mini games, <laughs> the most ever in a single Mario Party title, to create the best one yet. Oh, my friend Russ is actually going to love this game. I'm really hoping they have this uh, Euro game because I'm going there next week. So they got this show off, that'd be absolutely brilliant. Okay, January 2018, so that's pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Taz returns. To Super Smash Brothers fans should take notice. This meticulously crafted side scrolling adventure contains immersive 3D visuals, atmospheric exploration based gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities. Yeah, it looks good, but I've always gotten better with the Metroid Prime games. I'm not sure about the 2D uh, one. Vengeance has a name. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for launch September 15th. Yeah, two days away. Don't forget, on October 13th, we'll release a new Nintendo 3DS XL with a retro feel. New Nintendo That's 3DS pretty cool. XL Super Nintendo Entertainment System Edition. Plus, if you missed them the first time around, these great games will be added to the Nintendo Selects range on the same day. Luigi's Mansion 2, Kirby Triple Deluxe, and Super Mario 3D Land. New Nintendo cool. 3DS XL, Super Nintendo Entertainment System Edition, and these Nintendo Select titles will be released on October yeah, 13th. That, that 3DS looks pretty cool. Atlas always has something good in the works for RPG Atlas. fans. Nine characters' paths will converge in Alliance Alive, an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas, heading to Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS systems in early 2018. What's more... The new Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo will be releasing shortly after this presentation. Two new titles from beloved series are almost here. Uncover the mysterious origin of everyone's Ace favorite attorney. Warrior, and Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And soon, the bonds between heroes will decide their fates in Fire Emblem Warriors. I was getting 3DS footage, That's doesn't look overly great. Okay, so it's free spotlights on Switch titles. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Let's get a date, hopefully it hasn't slipped. Hopefully that's still on track for this year. It looks brilliant, it looks stunning. And the people have built their countries and lives on top of these creatures. In the middle of this world stands the world tree, and it's said that at the top of it lies Elysium, an idyllic land of plenty. Many great powers rule over regions of Orbes. 
kingdom of Uriah is one of them, its territory contained within their title. The Uriahs deeply respect me, boasting advanced biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Their rival, the militaristic empire of Moradain, is another. Controlling Titans through mechanical means, they bring heavy armaments to bear as they annex other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. Just nature versus technology, by the way. The imperial province of Gorma, a plentiful land now fallen under Ardenian control, and the Indoline Praetorium, whose people revere and worship the Titans. Indo controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so, despite being a theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. Next, the Argentum trade guild. So we introduce the different factions at play, and I guess you have to go for these kingdoms in the story. And last but not least, Torna, carrying out secret operations under the cloud sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long, this world will fall into turmoil over efforts to find the legendary blade, the Aegis. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Hand her over to a grown up. He just must be destroyed. <laughs> then I shall eat his too and make mountains of cash. I'm <laughs> guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream. Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? That's pretty looking pretty cool. Oh, the new logo looks good. Welcome to All Rest, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My name is Azota. Oh, yes, that's me right there. I may be relatively small, but I am also a titan. And this little troublemaker is the protagonist of our story, Rex, Rex. who lives on my back. I suppose okay. you could say I'm his landlord. <laughs> and his guardian too he refers to me as Gramps you may call me the same Rex used to work as a salvager scavenging useful resources from beneath the cloud sea until one day he met a girl named Pyra and the two set off on a quest to deliver her safely to Elysium can you believe he accepted such a lofty job just to impress the girl? <laughs> Second get. Oh yes, and this is also me. Utterly adorable, if I do say so myself. <laughs> In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you too will embark on a journey across the Titan's backs. This land's kind of huge. Unique scenery, very different from its neighbours. Some have big open fields, while others boast huge caverns set deep within the Titan's own body. Remember, we Titans are living beings, each with our own quirks, which you must learn to navigate. Of course, you also cross paths with many a dangerous creature on these Titans. It's their home too, but it's sadly inevitable that we butt heads from time to time. It's going a bit more in detail the game like mechanics. With synthetic life forms called blades, like Rex does, are known as drivers. When drivers do battle, their weapons and powers are granted to them by blades, such as Pyra, for example. Fair enough. After three drivers and three blades can work together at any one time. As you continue attacking with your normal weapons, you constantly work toward charging up your driver hearts. These special abilities run the gamut, with some allowing you to inflict extra damage depending on your position. While other, more arcane arts, can cause HP potions to appear. Just use them wisely and watch closely the tide of battle to know when best to deploy them. Blades also support their trusted drivers by using blade arts to increase the power of their attacks, their accuracy and the like. 
way, the drivers can focus on playing a more active role in the battlefield. But opposition, things won't always go your way, so it's important to learn the benefits of switching. Oh, come on. Blades. By using items called... Oh, what's going on? Core crystals. Drivers can awaken new blades. This is known as resonance. You aren't limited to just one. A single driver can bond with multiple blades. The weapons and arts available to you depend on the blades with which you bond. And you never know what kind of blade you'll get until you awaken them. That's quite cool. It's quite in depth as well, which is awesome. Sometimes you may muster up some with you. With each blade being either an attacker type, defender type, or a healer type. It's important to switch blades and tactics in step with your situation. Like I always say, there's no better game plan than using the right blade for the job at hand. It's very interesting game mechanics and changing up a bit and looks very interesting. You should always take a breast of the blades your party members are using and strategize accordingly. By using your arts, you fill up your blades special again. When you finally activate one of these specials, the driver will return the weapon to its blade owner, enabling the blade to deliver a devastating attack. Blade specials have four levels of intensity, and I must say, levels three and four are a bit too wild for my taste. <laughs> so, what do you think? You are still a bit green, but one day you may work your way up to being a great driver yourself. There is much more to learn, but consider this a sneak peek. You can combine arts into something more and really turn That's pretty time. cool. And now, it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Your journey through the clouds begins when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launches on Nintendo Switch December the 1st. 1st December, wow. All rest is waiting for you. So that is our big December game for Switch, well, I'm guessing. That's pretty cool. Special bundle. So you got Kurt's edition as well. Oh wow. So a new uh, Pro Controller. That's pretty nice. So you got some more headlines. What are they going to show off? Payday, Paycheck. Still Payday 2. Kelp Dome. Now with some fresh twists. Grades to slip through and a bit of added turf on each side for your inking pleasure. Watch out though, shooting up and down through those graded platforms get pretty crazy. Now for something Good old new, down. Snapper Canal. A <laughs> new one. Stage, a river is running right down the middle. The key to victory? Figuring out how to break into the central area and then push <laughs> through the other team's base. Also, we're introducing a new umbrella weapon called the Tentabrella. It's sort of like a regular umbrella. Oh, wow. Except, whoa, that's huge. <laughs> it kind of looks like a big camping tent, capable of guarding over a large area. The Kelp Dome stage we showed earlier will be available to play Saturday morning. We're planning even more weapons and stages for future releases. So Splatoon <laughs> 2 should stay fresh for a long time. That's why Cody's making that noise. Okay, Fire Emblem Warriors. The Fire Emblem series have been summoned to stop the Chaos Dragon. Cover the mystery of the Shield of Flames. Each one will face armies a thousand strong by unleashing devastating attacks. As their stories unfold, new combinations of characters will mingle and bond on the battlefield of Fire Emblem Warriors. And now, a be beloved warrior is joining the cause. It's Lynn. Okay, she's very much. Hailing from Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance. Lindis of the Lorca lends us her steel. Keep your eyes on the horizon, soldier. A new trailer launches today. So there's a new trailer coming out. Code. You are sorely mistaken. Sheesh. Fire Emblem Warriors launches up to the next one. Inside the special edition, which includes the game, a premium character card set, and a three CD music set. Separately, the Chrom and Tiki Amiibo figures release the same day. Hello? The action puzzle game that okay, lets you share with your friends is getting reams of new content on Nintendo eShop. Go into that GameCube logo a second ago. I don't need to check it out. 
expanded version of the game that packs in all the paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new stages, including a world based on comic books and a toy box world too. Oh, and get this. A new feature lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. You start with one of many random body shapes that will require some hilarious new approaches. So fans of this cult hit and newcomers alike can enjoy all of this okay. new content with friends and family. Okay. Liver Clips Plus, Cut It Out Together, launches November 10th. Mm. This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo mm. eShop. You've never seen a shooter like this before. All right, smoke a leg. Change your size to change All right. your powers in Morphe's though. Hey guys, come here. Come here. Okay, why have you frozen? Oh, this is a shame that the bloody stream's frozen. It's buffering now. Okay, it's caught up. Size changes the way you use your grappling hook. Clever players might even transform their allies on purpose. Your team's avatar is only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch. Okay, it's still winter. It's a exclusive in winter 2017. If you kept, then you probably heard that Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include all the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi Toppers, yep. and the first-ever Nintendo-themed Battle Cars, along with the new addition of local wireless multiplayer. <coughs> Check out Samus's gunship. That's with a cool car. Beam boost, followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR, and its Super Star Boost. Just pick the blue team to play as Luigi. Or the orange team to play as Mario. But to rep your love for Nintendo, you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game. You'll have your chance when Rocket League Still winter, so no set date for that. Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes. With roles it's a Dota style tanks, game. Mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Build the it's pretty cool. With your friends to crush your opponents in real-time online battles. First blood, double kill, triple kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes, including 5v5, 3v3, 1v1, and a unique Hook Wars mode that will challenge your skills and prove your valor as a true champion. Draw first blood, carry your team to the finish line, and become a legend in the arena. The Arena of Valor beta test version will be available for free this winter. Cool. Live another life in another world. So this Skyrim. Epic coming to Nintendo Switch. Let's see. Have they got a date for this? Of more than 200 Game of the Year awards, Bethesda Game Studios' open world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be anyone and do anything, can now be played anywhere. The ancient evil of dragons. I've never played Skyrim, so it'll be interesting to see whether I'm tempted to fit this up or not. You are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone. From archery to crafting to destruction magic and more. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even if you've played Skyrim before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. That's pretty the cool. Champion's tunic. The Hylian Shield and the Master Sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda character amiibo figure. Or, you can always seek out these treasures as you explore the vast world. This version of the game launches... 17th of November, so that's the November title. November 17th, in Europe and the Americas. So that's pretty cool. Bethesda Softworks is bringing two iconic first-person oh, wow. shooters to Nintendo Switch. Its software, the studio that pioneered the genre, is Bethesda are really going for Switch now. TV and anywhere you want to be. Slay hordes of demons with devastating guns and single player and crush your friends in online multiplayer when Doom tears onto Nintendo Switch this winter. Yeah, Bethesda is like three games from Bethesda in a year. It's pretty cool. Only you have the guts. Guns and gumption to spark the second American Revolution. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. That's 2018. Switch in 2018. 
But it's good that they're actually doing stuff. Flip Wars is rolling out a new update and is packing a new online battle mode, Class Matches. This mode Can has flip more, flip more some more modes. Try and move up to the next class. It's a great little game of short bursts, Flip Wars. Um, I haven't actually played it for a little while now. In the Red Coliseum, yeah. animals are plagued by flames. If you accidentally touch them, your character will become harder to control. Some other new mechanics are being added too, like spinners that flip over panels. The new update will usher in local wireless play as well, so friends can get cool. together and play together on their own Nintendo Switch consoles. Flip Wars is available now. This new update will be free for owners of the game on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Alright game fans, it's quiz time. Recognize this arcade cabinet? It certainly has been a while, but finally, after many years, our arcade titles are making a return. And the first one is cool. Mario Brothers. By sharing your Joy-Con, you can run, jump, and compete. I mean, cooperate to win. Notice the little visual details from the arcade version. Other arcade classics are on the way too, including Versus Super Mario Brothers, Versus Balloon Fight, Versus Ice Climber, Versus Pinball, Versus Clue Clue Land, and more. These arcade games will contain other subtle differences you can't find in their NES counterparts. See if you can spot them. Okay. Arcade Archives Mario Brothers is coming down the pipe September 27th. Fair enough. So we're doing some of the old arcade games. Real quick, some news for Zelda fans. So the new Amiibo. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibo figures will release on November 10th. 10th of November? Oh, that only comes a four pack. They'll summon materials and weapons, but unlike other Amiibo, They'll conjure up headgear based on the champion's divine beasts. They have cool. functional purposes as well, and we'll have more info soon. Whether you compete in a court or a ring, there's no shortage okay, of great sports, sports ones. games for Nintendo Switch this year. This is still going down of all these Switch NBA headlines. will have the Nintendo Switch lineup shook when it launches on September 15th in Nintendo eShop, and in retail October 17th. Fans of sports entertainment should also note that WWE 2K18 is coming soon as well. EA no date for that. FIFA. Is the most immersive, social, and authentic soccer game out there. Take the world's game on the go and play anywhere with anyone when FIFA 18 launches on September 29th. The premier Pokemon fighting game brings multiplayer so battles. Pretty, pretty stat month in week. September and for games. The demo version is available right now, so give it a try in anticipation of the game's launch. That's pretty cool. Okay, third spotlight title. Okay, so is this uh, Project Top Path Traveler? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, same voice actor, yeah. Octopath Traveler. Step into their shoes and explore the realm as you see fit. Surprising they're focusing on this. Each with a unique talent. But again, it is exclusive from Square, so. Stories to be told. So tell me, friend, what path would you tread? So it is an interesting art style. On an adventure, all your own. I think a lot of people expect more from this at Tokyo Game Show, so they are kind of doing it a little bit earlier. Still a working title. The producers of Bravely Default at Square Enix bring us a new fantasy Yeah, this is from Bravely Default developers. A mix of CG, pixel art, and visual wizardry that the developers have termed HD 2D. It's pretty cool. Begin your journey as one of eight protagonists, each with their own origin, talents, and goals. Where will your journey begin? Who will you team up with, and where will you go next? All these decisions and more are completely up to you, the player. Each character has his or her own path action that can be used to interact with the people they encounter in a distinct way.
For example, the warrior Ulbrich can challenge almost anyone to a duel. With one such duel, he could expose an evildoer and bring them to justice? Or force someone in his way, out of the way? The dancer, Primrose, on the other hand, can allure others into following her. With this power, she could track down a missing person and bring them back. That's pretty cool. Lure her enemies into a trap. She can even summon an allured character to help her in battle. Essentially, each character has their own way of achieving their objectives. The developers aim to give players the freedom to choose their own paths and That's immerse pretty themselves cool. in a deep story through true role play. But what about combat? In this game, battles are a fusion of simple pick-up-and-play, turn-based battles, and all new mechanics. Cool. One such mechanic is the boost Peace. system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take in battle. You can then spend them to dramatically increase the strength of your attacks and abilities, or use it to chain attacks. That's very cool. Try targeting an enemy's weak point to break its guard, then deliver powerful blows while it's weakened. Or, if an ally is in trouble, use it to get them right back into fighting shape. Identifying the right time to boost may just be the key to victory. There's a deep level cool. of strategies to draw from, and your tactical genius won't go unrewarded. Later today, a demo version of Project oh, wow. the Path Traveler will launch worldwide in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. It's got a demo already, even though it's still a working title. Look out for an extended cut of the trailer we just debuted as well. It's the coming out from Square Enix, next year. Octopath Traveler is scheduled for a simultaneous worldwide release in 2018. We hope you're looking forward to it. I will, maybe. Some more Switch headlines. Pet arms. Load of up. Fun chuck. <laughs> Biff there. Okay. But there's another new feature as well. Now you can remap the controls to the buttons of your choice. After all, this game's all about flexibility. The best part? The ARMS version 3 update goes live shortly after this. Yeah, I thought, I thought the update would be pretty soon. Dragon Quest Builders? Okay. Dragon Quest Builders is destined for Nintendo Switch. The game is a big hit in Japan, mixing the fun of building with an overarching story and the combat of an action RPG. Fair enough. You'll master the art of construction, build your own towns however you want, defend them from monsters, and rescue townsfolk in need. Of guard, the very same world where the series began. A separate free build mode allows you to build to your heart's content with unlimited resources. <coughs> Nintendo Switch exclusive Great Saber Cup will boost your speed and grant you special material by defeating enemies. <coughs> Dragon That's Quest pretty Builders cool. Is planned for release in spring 2018. That's spring. The Kirby game that we showed okay, off Kirby. at E3 has some charming new tricks. Okay, it's Kirby Star Allies. Allies, okay. By working together, you can initiate team up attacks, like a stone drop using ESP, and many more. Depending on your allies' copy abilities, you can also share elemental attributes to augment copy abilities and create combinations, like a bomb turned hot air balloon. Fair enough. Whether you play alone or co-op with a 
fun and mix up your alliances and create new powers. Together, you may have a chance to defeat the dark new force manipulating Dreamland. Star Allies is coming to okay, so spring 2018. Let's do early 2018. Let's see the platform mining adventure, Steam World Dig 2. Yeah, that's due pretty soon. Golf through courses, towns, puzzles, and challenges in the sporty RPG Golf Story this September. This holiday. The four players can blast them up together locally or online. In Just recapping some of the stuff from the Nindies showcase. Action in solve match three puzzles in Battle Chef Brigade this year. Deploy units and your masterful strategies in the turn based tactical RPG Tiny Metal. Leap up walls and dodge saws in the randomly constructed side scroller Super Meat Boy Forever in 2018. Never hurts to beef up your gaming library. The Nintendo Switch lineup is stacking up fast. Use the power of memory to restore what the world has lost. Lost Sphere. Modern Looks interesting. RPGs. Lost Sphere. Lost Sphere. January. January 23rd, 2018. Join the uprising by fighting Sorry, back courses. against modern Sonic, classic Sonic, or any one of the many custom hero characters you can create in Sonic Forces November 7th. Face your fears and uncover the truth as both Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Revelations 2 make their way to Nintendo Switch on November 28th. Oh wow, so you got dates for both. is bringing L.A. Noir to Nintendo Switch on November 14th. Okay, L.A. Noir. This is where the 18 rating comes in, I don't know. New collectibles, detective suits with special abilities. They're not showing so much off, though, so. I think yes, Doom and, uh, detective work. Wolfenstein might have. Headline for Nintendo Switch. Wolfenstein may have <laughs> had that. So, Mario Odyssey. Second <laughs> great this game. Hello, Kozumi. That sounds sad. Well, so Pete's got her own Cappy, that's being made. Uh... Okay. A bit more story. <laughs> looks brilliant. It looks really good, this game. Okay, it's New Dog City, Sun Kingdom. Are they going to show all of the kingdoms? Shaviria, the Snow Kingdom, okay. Wow, that looks... I don't know if now it's... Seaside Kingdom. Wow, that looks beautiful. Yeah, that looks beautiful. マリオはこの帽子の形をした船、オデッセイ号に乗って世界を移動するのですが、その原動力となっているのは世界に散らばるパームーンです。それらを集めることで、オデッセイ号はパークし、次の国へ行けるようになります。次の国へ行くために必要
実はそれ以上のパワームーンが存在していて収集要素の一つになっています。Well, cool. パワームーンは目に見えてるところに落ちているだけでなく、隠れたところにあるものや敵を倒して手に入れるものなんだ。とにかくいろんなところに存在していますので、多彩なマリオのアクションを駆使しながら世界の隅々まで探索してみていただければと思います。Oh, so on the leaderboard, so the mini games, that's cool. Crazy cap, where you get your hats. That's pretty cool. Oh, Mario Maker. Dr. Mario? Oh, he's pretty, looking pretty awesome. Ah, that looks cool. So detailed, that's cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> This game looks amazing. Oh, stop buffering, please. Yeah, so I have to apologize because my stream will be completely out of rack of what I'm showing on the presentation. So, uh, come on. Okay, so let's get to the little section. Okay, so do a special hardware bundle with red Joy Cons. There's more new information to come from Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, so that is the direct done. Um, yeah, some pretty good, pretty good bits in there. Um, Zelda Chronicles can't wait for. It looks awesome. Um, Looking at the chat coming up, so a lot of people say, What about Smash? It's just like, 
they won't announce Smash and it will direct like this. Direct Smash will be like a proper kind of proper event. Um, yeah, so I don't get why people are so oh why it wasn't Smash here. It's not going to be here yet. Oh, I can we won't see Smash until at least next year's E3 if it is going to come. But um, that's just me. But yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with what they showed. Some pretty good stuff. Um, good to see Bethesda is really getting behind the Switch. Like, the good has done Skyrim and wait to see how it does. Whereas I've actually jumped in and doing three titles. So, that's pretty exciting. Um... Yeah, they're going to wrap this up for tonight. Um, let me know what your thoughts of, you, of what the presentation was. Um, is there anything you're excited about? Um, anything that you want to, you wish I'd shown or thought I shouldn't have shown? Um, yeah, let us know. But um, I'm pretty excited by what they showed today. Until next time, see ya.